Hey guys, this is your hashtag student nurse RN coming to you live with another great video. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Please feel free to browse around, watch every little thing. Um, I hope I've been super helpful for my new subscribers that just joined. Thank you for all your support. All my people that's on their way back to my channel, I want to thank you for coming back for another video. Uh, I appreciate y'all and I just want to encourage y'all 2020 is y'all year. Get this education. As I used to say, get your education. Um, um, continue to strive to be the best you the best version of you and take care of yourself this is 2020 we got to do better all y'all take care of ourselves make sure we sleep eat the common things you know like some people take a granted of make sure you're doing those things you sleep eating right you going to the gym working out um work on you this year 2020 again is your year and i wanted to do a video today to talk about how nurses or the secrets or how nurses make 100k or better so guys let's jump right into the video now let's talk about money because i just feel like don't matter your skin color don't matter where you're from i feel like we all got this thing with money like either we need it or we need some more or we got debt or we just need like better financial situation to do more maybe it's because you need a better financial situation so you could go to school and pay for that degree or maybe you need a better car or maybe you need to be able to buy more property or whatever it is we all got money issues. Like, I got them. You got them. I got them. I got kids. So, that's money issues right there. Um, so, anyway, I wanted to help y'all out with the information on agency nursing. Guys, I've been agency oh, nurse since 2016. Yeah. Soon as I got my license, I became an agency nurse. Um, I didn't know too much about it going into it. Uh, I needed the hours. I needed to be able to choose my hours while he was deploying everywhere. And I want, I had this new license and I was ready to get in the game, show my new skills off. And I couldn't do a traditional job uh, with traditional hours. So agency nursing helped me and my family out the best. Now, I will say before we get into the spill that not all agency nurses companies are all the same. Some companies are sloppy. Some companies are good they're well organized they keep up with your paperwork as far as like um you keeping up with your um lab tests like if you need a pp uh ppd done every year or your flu shot they keep they pay for all that if you need fingerprints background checks they take care of all that now going into it like i said i didn't know too much about the money aspect but i definitely needed a job with better hours or hours that i can choose now i was currently in the state of georgia when i started doing agency staffing and i found that it was a broader uh, opportunities as far as you picking not only your hours but maybe you like picking the facility that you want to work for or a particular specialty now your girl started out in, be in behavior health um which I didn't even know behavior health was something that I actually wanted to do or be good in. But your girl loved it, and I did a good job doing it. Um, they trained me just like the normal employees. We actually all trained together, and then we started out together, which was great. Um, and I had a full-time schedule, just like everybody else. Because um, once I picked my hours, I was locked into the that schedule every week, um, 40 hours a week. And I believe back then my pay was 19, which was like, I think like seven or eight dollars more than what the uh, nurses that worked for the company got paid. So like I was doing OK because the cost of living, you have to go off of that when you're talking about money. Like so a hundred thousand dollars to somebody out there may be a whole lot or it may be like, oh, just enough to sustain. Um, so it really depends on where you live at. And if you live more up north, then, of course. It's going to offer you more money because it's going to match the cost of living. And I'm in the state of Virginia, so um, the staff and agencies out here matches the cost of living in the state of Virginia. Now, when I was in Georgia, that matches. the Down there, this, it, it don't take much to buy a house. You could buy a five-bedroom five bedroom house for, like, less than $100,000. So the cost of living is super, super low. So making a good amount of money, even 60000 a year, you was living like queens and queens in Georgia. Opposed to in Virginia, no. I'm sorry for the light. That's my son. Um, but um, the state of Virginia is like different. It's kind of like, how can I put it? It's like not low, but not high. I don't know if y'all feel like that where y'all live at, but definitely that's how it is where I'm at. It's not low, it's not high, but it's like in between, um, depending on what part of Virginia you want to live in. But anyway, um, like I said, all 
tr nursing agency jobs are not equal. Um, I had several, usually nurses who work um, jobs like this or travel or home health. You're going to have several agency jobs. You're not going to just depend on one because like say for instance, that facility is like, okay, we don't have contracts right now or we're pulling back because to pay an agency nurse, they paying triple for that that one nurse. So sometimes they run out of money or sometimes they're fully staffed and they're always going to look out for their staff before they look out for you because you're just filling in a spot at that facility. Um, another thing is always go for a facility that always have a need. So like I went to a hospital when I first moved to Virginia that was constantly always short. I mean, short every five minutes. Soon as the shift started, they already short like five nurses, you know? So my agency job that I was with now, I changed it. Of course, when I, once I got to Virginia, I joined several of them when I came to Virginia. Um, and not all of them were equal. The one I fell in love with is the one I kept that matches how I work. I liked to be competent. I like to be organized all my stuff. They took care of everything. All I did was took a picture to, um, for my ID. They eat, they mailed me back my ID. Um, I did the paperwork. They paid for all the testing that I needed for the job. And all I did was like a five minute, like common drug test. I remember taking like common, common drugs, y'all. Drugs you wouldn't learn in nursing school over and over again. Those were the drugs that were on the test and it was simple questions. And then, um, I took care of all the paperwork online. I literally never been to the office, y'all. I've been with this job since 2017. Never even been to the office. Never met these people in real life. But I talk to them all the time on the phone. Literally, with this company that I'm with, you literally have an app on your phone where after the end of your shift, they sign it. Whoever is um, in charge of that shift will sign your phone and go straight to payroll. Now, the, a good thing about um, working agency is you will get paid weekly. Um, you don't have benefits for the um, this type of job, but you will get all your money. Like you will get, you know how you see your check and you're supposed to have like got like three grand, but then you wind up with two grand because they took out all these taxes and then all your insurances came out, like all your benefits came out. So you were like... When you see your travel check, you like, because now you're seeing your money. So that's how uh, nurses make over 100K. Some nurses don't have a regular job and they just do agency and they work for two different agencies at the same time to compensate if like say one is, they don't need nobody for the day, but you call your next agency job and they're like, yeah, we got plenty of needs at this hospital over here. If you're good at what you do and competent in your skills to be able to be an agency nurse and can handle the attitudes of the staff because nobody's going to like you coming in because they know you get paid more. So always keep in mind that these nurses are getting paid way less to you can pay more to do the same job. So, of course, what you think they go, how they're going to act towards you. So be able to take the smart comments, be able to take the little smirks or them sitting down watching you work extra hard because they're going to try to give you the worst case of scenario. They're going to try to, um, you know, make you feel like uncomfortable so you don't come back and make the money. Um, they're not going to tell you everything about the unit, like where stuff is at. They may threaten that you may not have a CNA. And these agency um, companies know that that's how some of these uh, facilities are, like treating their nurses, that agency nurses that are coming in. They know about the complaints, so don't think that they don't know. And if it gets out of hand, just know who to go to when stuff get out of hand. Now, always handle things respectfully because you never know. Nursing is a very small world, so you don't want to start a whole bunch of enemies out there because you will see the same people rotating around to the next job. And um, I always promote my job, my agency job, when I am working at a facility. And I'm like, hey, you guys can make the same money that I'm making. Just take the opportunity. Um, I always do that. So it's not like if I'm... They feel like if I'm being better than them or anything like that, because I'm not, I'm there obviously for a reason. And just keep in mind, you're still a nurse, so you still want to do the best job that you need to do. So if whatever it takes to do that job well, do it. Because there's nothing like making the extra money and doing the job well, where you don't feel like you're struggling all day long. You're not, you don't know how to do something. So if you still feel like you fresh out of school, but you need more time to train, Use your regular job to train. Always have your regular job for your benefits. Always have that steady income coming in. Never cancel that for a travel job or for like a home health job or for like a, um, you know, agency job. Um, unless for sure you can't do regular hours like me. I was, I, that was the only choice that I had and went into it. But I felt competent in, in my skills 
to take on that job. Plus, most jobs you go to now, they're going to train you. That's the beauty of working now as a nurse. They are going to train you on that job. So take heed to that training that they give you because once you get on the floor, that's it. You're on your own. But um, that's how nurses make 100K. Now, guys, when I used to hear this, I used to be like, how is they making 100K? And I'm looking at my check, and I'm like, I ain't making nowhere near that. It's because they have these agency jobs. Now, the beauty of it is you're not stuck with that company. So whatever the company is doing really has nothing to do with you. You just come in there to do a job. You will start maybe getting attached to these patients and so you may make friends with the staff and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it makes your job even better because they know you're coming in all the time like they coming in. So you work together. You become co-workers um, just that you guys are getting paid differently, um, which is that's the only difference. Um, a lot of people feel like agency nurses do not know what they're doing. They're not trained and they're dangerous. Um, this could be true, like I said, because... You're going into a job that you don't know and that they're not going to train you fully. You're an agency nurse. They're just going to throw you in there because they need a body. And so if you're not competent in your skills, it can be very dangerous because then you really don't know what you're doing. On top of that, you're working extra hard because they gave you the worst cases um, and they're going to watch you drown. <laughs> as soon as something hit the fan, they're going to blame you. So I would say if you're still uncomfortable with like in that type of situation, then wait for the first year or two with training on your normal job before you go out there and do anything, agency, home health, or travel, because that's how it is. You got to be able to adapt to your environment, figure it out, and just do it. Um, when the hospital I was working for, when they, they still was paper charting, so when they brought in the EMR, finally, I trained with the nurses. I used to go to the huddles in the morning because I wanted to know if there's any orders that change, uh, if we're doing anything differently on the floor. Um, I attended staff meetings, um, even though I didn't work for the company. I became familiar face to all the employees, managers, and everybody. Of course, they asked me to work for them, but I was like, nah. At the time, when I came to Virginia, um, for regular jobs, they were paying like 18 for LPNs. But on my travel job, I started at 25. So, and then I wound up the top is the top that I made was like 27. Um, and that's not with contract. That was just me saying, Hey, I want to pick up shifts, pick up shifts. I don't really like the contract job, the contracts, because I felt like with contract, it really do lock you in for that schedule and you can't change it. And that's how much they're going to pay you for sure. But you can't change your days and stuff like that. And that's a contract you're locked in for 13 weeks. So say you go into a facility and you don't like it. And you're like, oh my God, these nurses hate me. I don't like it. I don't know what nothing is at. I don't know what I'm doing. And you're signed that contract. Then you're you're um, stuck into that contract for 13 weeks. Opposed to, I just do this. I just say, hey, I want to work there and just schedule shifts. Because all we do is go on our app and schedule our shifts that we want to work for the week. I'll just schedule my shift to work there. But I'm not stuck with no contract. Because if I'm like, hey, I don't feel like working tonight, then I can say I could drop my shift. That's the beauty of uh, uh, doing agency. You can say, hey, I don't feel like working and cancel your shift. Or you don't like how they treat you that day. You're like, hey, I'm leaving. I'm going to work somewhere else for that day um, and cancel that shift. You can do whatever you want. But if you're in the contract, you know, is legally binding you to that contract. Um, that's why I don't do contract because my life is not steady enough where I can stick to certain days and hours. I want to be able to be comfortable with if I'm working my new RN job and I'm like, I'm tired the next two days, I don't want to do nothing. But then this weekend, the same weekend I want to pick up, then I just pick up at my travel job on the weekend and make my money like that and where I'm not burning myself out because that's key. You don't want to burn yourself out doing this agency work. You'll be making money, but then you'll be tired doing it. I'm telling you, you'll be tired and then you're going to not want to get up and do it. And then you don't want it to affect your stable job. Then you'll be without a job and you don't want to kill nobody neither. You still got to keep in mind you are a nurse. No matter how much money you make, you are a nurse. You, your responsibility is your patient, not how much you make. Your money's going to come with experience. Trust me, it comes with experience, whether you're working in those low down places with no staff, they don't got no supplies. Those things, everything you do is valuable in this world. Don't ever think that everything that you're doing is not worth nothing. It is worth something when you care for another person that is sick. And you're take, doing all those things. God sees everything. So don't ever think that you're doing something that is not valuable. Everything you do, put it on your resume. It is very valuable. Um, it was part of the reason why I got the job that I got. Because they looked at the places that I worked in. And they asked me about my travel job during my interview, guys. And I was like, of course I work for that travel job. I'm not letting that go. Like, And it was like, oh, okay. 
they just wanted to know why I was PR and still at other places and still had this travel job. And I'm like, well, I never burn those bridges because I never know if I might need something in the future. So every time I leave a company, when I did work for the regular company is I always leave as a PR and nurse. Because if I ever need to go and make a couple of dollars, I can always go back to a PR in position that I have there. So always never burn those bridges. Be respectful to everyone. It's a small nursing world out there. So your enemies that you're having problems with, you may see them at another job. Managers, you may see them at another job. So you always want to be respectful. You always want to be known for a nurse that does a good job and is thorough. And um, that's what's going to pay the way for you. That's what's going to put thousands in your account. Not the opposite of you just worrying about the money and because people always think associate money with nursing. It really is about compassion and dedication. You got to love what you do to be able to make the millions. You can't make millions if you're frustrated with what you're doing and you don't like what you're doing, but you just like the money. It's going to show in your in your actions and your attitude and how you treat your patients. And you don't want to be that nurse. You just don't want to be that nurse, please. Nurses on here. I want competent nurses on here. Nurses that want to practice safe. That's why I put the information out there because a lot of people run with the money, but then they don't last long doing the job because they don't love it um do stuff that you really want to do you passionate about doing it um when you do an agency nursing you have a lots of opportunities to choose from different specialties you could do pediatric you can do long-term care you can work with um assisted livings you can do hospital you can do anything as an lpn too and that's how I worked in a lot of places. And they couldn't understand. A lot of opians couldn't understand how I worked at a hospital. Well, first of all, I was a travel nurse. If you asked me, I would have told you. Um, that's how you're going to get access into all these different specialties and be able to get those skills that you're going to need. That's going to better you on your regular job. So, you know, everything is for a reason. Please pray before you start doing anything. Make sure it is for you. Have tough skin if you're going to do agency nursing because it's not easy. Um... And don't burn yourself out. So save enough money. So if you want to take three weeks off, you got thousands in the bank. You'd be like, I can take three weeks off. I'm tired. I don't want to do nothing. That's fine because you saved enough money to compensate for the loss of money of wanting to take three weeks off. You understand what I'm saying? Have goals with your money because I feel like you start making all this money and you're just buying, buying, buying stuff just to buy. Save your money. Um, pay off your, your student loans, your student debt. Pay your car off. Buy a house. Buy a property. Get a business. Or invest in something. Take your money and invest. Because that's how you get millions. Not a closed mindset of I'm making these dollars and I'm just spending it. Spending it and spending going traveling and eating out all the time. It all sometimes at least an unhealthy lifestyle because now you can afford to do everything you want to do. And you was better off struggling because you were so humble. When you're struggling, you humbled and you know how to improvise and make, make a dollar stretch. And now you're getting all this money. You just like... Sometimes it can change you, so you don't want to not be able to recognize yourself. You know, you don't want that to change you completely. So set money, set goals, and make sure you're paying your tithes and offerings when you go to church. Uh, that's another thing for those who believe. Do the right thing. And he's never going to bless you all this money and you not bless somebody else. So make sure you're a blessing to somebody else. Um, but that's the secret of how nurses make 100K. I hope this video was super helpful. Um, I am trying to think of everything to tell you. Um, that you may need to put in your little nursing backpack. So when you are out in the world and you're doing your thing, I hope this helps. Um, I'm not going to tell you nothing I haven't done. These exact things I have done. I've been an agency nurse since 2017, not planning on leaving that type of job. Um, I love it. I'm thinking about even opening up my own um, because I love it so much. That's another story. But um, you guys have a blessed day. Stay humble. Um, make sure you pray. Take care of yourself. And you guys have a good day.